Hello everyone, this is Vincenzo and welcome to a new video and today I want to show you a game I played against Wally, the 1800 rated bot and I want to give you some tips about how to beat this bot because it's quite an advanced bot, 1800, not very easy so uh, today I want to show you this game and share with you uh, some tips so this was the final position as you can see a quite long game 81 moves let's see the game review okay so here you have the game review so Wally didn't play too good 71.6% uh, uh, is not too good for a 1800 rated bot uh, but still found a lot of best moves two great moves uh, as you can see I didn't play so good either um, and here is the, the first tip uh, which I will probably put in the title or the thumbnail in order to beat advanced bots you don't have to play perfectly you don't have to play 100% to play, uh, accuracy 90% uh, accuracy you can actually make some mistakes as you can see I played 4 blunders and 6 mistakes which is a lot and I still managed to win so I'm going to show you the game now so the first tip is uh, do not worry about playing perfectly uh, but uh, the second tip comes uh, right now is you have to know in order to beat Wally and some advanced bots uh, you have to know some theory you cannot uh, really improvise uh, it will be much more difficult so as you can see I still played French I always play this um, so e4 um, e6 d4 d5 and this is uh, one of the variation here you can play the advance uh, you can uh, develop this knight Wally almost always decides to to play this uh, so I always play the classical when I see knight to c3 and the bishop comes out to um, g5 which makes sense now this is very very important because we don't want to um, to lose our knight so you have to know your theory now as you can see when this move arrives you can drop back and then there is usually a trade of bishops but sometimes there is this move here uh, it is a gambit I don't remember the name okay Alekine Shatar uh, attack apparently I don't know if I am pronouncing that right uh, probably not where you can take win this pawn but then the knight can jump in attacking this you have to go back uh, yeah you win a pawn but uh, white has some serious compensation let's see what the engine thinks about this position as you can see white is doing uh, pretty well is yeah it's equal but uh, when you're down a pawn and the position is equal uh, and you have a slight advantage well that's pretty good uh, but anyway this didn't happen because after the bishop exchange uh, Wally went here uh, sorry here and then the standard move is this one and then you kick the knight away so as you can see if we go back to the review there were uh, a lot of book moves seven for white and six for, for black so the second tip is um, you have to know your openings you have to know some theory now you don't have to know every variation um, but still you have to know uh, your openings now here I decided to take which apparently is the best move because I didn't want to um, to go here and this and then this pawn is um, pretty in a pretty
pretty bad square it's going to to be taken soon so here I took uh, after takes I decided to trade which was the best move and now here I played my first mistake as you can see the position is not uh, good for black it's plus one so why did I go here well uh, I figured I want to play this and if this I go here also something that scared me uh, a lot was for example castling and I don't know why this scared me but I could have just gone here then I lose this pawn yeah this is why I I wanted to close down the a file and there was the first mistake now I lost the pawn probably the best move here was just going here now I went here because I wanted to trade but now I lose uh, another pawn uh, and I went here because I wanted to attack this pawn and defend this and as you can see I completely lost here so I'm completely lost against a 1800 uh, rated uh, bot I'm down two pawns uh, yeah this is completely lost so now um, the bot gave me a check I went for a queen trade which is bad because look at this bishop it's uh, doing nothing uh, I'm down two pawns so if a queen trade happens now well I'm going to win this pawn but uh, this bishop is pretty bad and I'm still down pawn so I was losing now uh, this was a mistake and I immediately went for the queen trade because as you can see now it is the best move why because now this pawn will be undefended so I immediately traded queens uh, now and here uh, maybe going here was good to fix this pawn on a light square and then trying to win it like this but I wanted to win this pawn and uh, open the, the rook so I took the pawn and now as you can see uh, Wally will try to to keep this pawn this is why I should have tried to, to win it uh, first now another mistake I'm still completely lost now of course I'm attacking the pawn but Wally defends uh, and now a mistake but white is doing absolutely fine I went here for some reason and now I'm pushing my king now this is not checkmate obviously because I can move on the A file but it's pretty a pretty good move because then my king will be stuck on the A file so I went here so uh, of course now I didn't take the pawn now it's uh, this is a blunder apparently uh, I don't really know why I have to defend this bishop or um, retreat it so I went here um, oh yeah because I have check and I can simply take maybe I can defend here uh, now I went back this is uh, as you can see I'm, I played a lot of mistakes blunders uh, but the best move here was probably yeah taking after takes uh, probably going here a little bit passive but I'm going to win this and then maybe I can push the a pawn um, so I won the pawn and now I I start uh, yeah uh, moving my king as you can see here I am completely now black is completely winning which is uh, which is uh, absurd but this is chess uh, it only takes a uh, one move and then you are completely uh, lost or completely winning as you can see the position is equal now and then one blunder now instead of going back I don't want to go back but I want to go forward this is why I went here attacking the the rook I'm attacking this uh, of course uh, this is not hanging but after I take and king takes I can win another pawn I'm attacking this 
and now I can push. This is the key difference. So this is why keying activity is so important. So another um, tip for you, if you are trying to, to beat Wally, is you have to uh, be patient because uh, Wally will um, usually play you in a very long game as you saw in the beginning of the video this game was 81 moves uh, yeah Wally will always uh, play a long game a long end game so you have to be very patient now I went here because I figured if I take take and then I take this with the rook I'm losing this so I didn't want to and now um, I should should have probably taken but I want to uh, win a tempo on the rook Wally moved now I took and now I won a pawn now I'm actually up one pawn now uh, why did I go here the engine doesn't like it but to me it makes uh, a lot of sense because if I played let's say uh, I played these then check and then uh, I didn't want to I didn't want this a rook infiltration now what I go here very passive as you can see it's a blunder uh, yeah I didn't like the idea of a rook infiltrating on the seventh rank and this is why I played um, I played this move which was a mistake now I pushed and now I went here uh, well as I mentioned king activity is key so going here doesn't make any sense and now I went here so I lost sorry two moves instead of one as you can see uh, tempo is very important now uh, you might know this pattern uh, when you have one rook and one king usually in a king and rook end game uh, when you want to checkmate the long king and your kings are staring uh, to each other one square away you can give this check and force basically the the king back now this is a missed win whatever uh, i still played it too because i wanted to force the king back now my pawn is pushing now uh i didn't want to focus only on this pawn and here comes another tip for you guys um always keep an eye on the other side of the board because let's say I played uh, this now as you can see it's a huge blunder because of this so now how can we stop this pawn apparently we can't um, yeah as you can see here uh, you can go here and then you start losing everything and this pawn made it through and you're going to lose so uh, a general tip not only to beat Wally but to beat any uh, strong bot uh, or opponent you have to keep an eye on the on the board on the other side of the board so I decided to go here a mistake but um, I didn't want this so this is why I didn't take let's see if taking was good probably yeah it's it was the best move uh, for some reason I didn't want this but probably this is unstoppable the promotion again another mistake as you can see I could have gone here if this position happened uh, but it didn't so I went here and now I just want to promote uh, of course my king is still uh, stuck on the a file but once I get here I found um, well first of all I played the blunder but I wanted to play these these and promote this was the idea for some reason instead of focusing on my uh, biggest asset in the position 
I went to take one pawn. I don't know why. Uh, now I finally remembered I have to push my pawn. So Wally played the only move to prevent the promotion. In fact, if you promote now, well, it's a huge mistake because you get checkmated. And this was uh, what I was talking about. Uh, two kings staring at each other and you want to play this rook move to either force the king back or deliver checkmate. Uh, remember this. So first I went here defending the pawn and now Wally cannot do anything. Again, for some reason I didn't focus on uh, promoting for some reason, I don't remember why but now I did now uh, this is not checkmate because I obviously take which is what happened and now I can simply promote another pawn and uh, deliver checkmate so now I went for some um, disrespect I promoted to two queens and then, and then I played this oh, of course the here comes the final tip probably um, when you are winning well of course you have to avoid stalemate so always keep an eye on the king on the opponent's king uh, always make sure uh, that it has a an escape square so I went here and here very nice checkmate with the king and the queen on the opposite sides of the of the file this queen here cutting the king off so this is how I have uh, beaten Wally uh, of course I don't always beat this bot because it's a very strong bot so um, you cannot always beat it uh, at least at my level I I suppose but if you follow my tips uh, you should be fine and you should be able to beat um, Wally and some of the advanced bots so I hope you enjoyed this game this video uh, please leave a like and if you want to support me subscribe uh, because I'm really trying to get to 500 subs and that being said uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video